Fellas, this one is for you. Harsh truths you must accept as a man. Some of you older men already understand this. And if you already, since you already understand this, as I go through these, these talking points, be more than welcome to comment your thoughts to the younger men on what to expect. I actually respect and revere older men that are productive wisdom. That wisdom is, is very, it's a cheat code for life if you take uh, heed to it. But to you guys that are my age and younger, you might not understand it yet. You still might think the world is all roses and smiles and hugs and cute and cuddly. But once you get that rude awakening that you're a man and the harshness of a male life, the hardness of a male life is one that most will never understand. It's a harsh reality. So if that sounds appealing, don't forget to like as I go through this video. Don't forget to comment your thoughts as I go through this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit your notifications. If you guys like my content, my viewpoints. It's kind of counterintuitive. My channel, counterintuitive wisdom. I might need to change the channel to that name. Maybe I should change the channel to that name. You guys comment if you like that name. Unconventional wisdom, counterintuitive wisdom, maybe. Anyway, back on point. So, some fucked up stuff happened at work today. And it just made me think about some of the harsh things that we have to deal with as men. And I have about five things I want to talk about. So let's, let's go ahead and dive into it. Talking point number one that you must accept as a man. Get used to disappointment. You're going to try something. You're going to want to do the right thing. You're going to start a business. You're going to, whatever it is, education, career, get used to disappointment. Why? What am I talking about? I'm talking about rejection. Rejection as a man is damn near your middle name because it happens so, so much. Sometimes you're qualified and you still don't get the position. Sometimes you have the right experience and you still don't get the, the position. Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes it's them. And you just don't realize it. Rejection. Rejection is everywhere for a man. Don't run from it. Embrace it. Because the sooner that you come to grips with that, you'll not let the rejection get personal. You'll not take it personally. And that's a state where every man should get to. You shouldn't take any rejection personally. You shouldn't take a woman's rejection personally. You shouldn't take a job rejection personally. You shouldn't take a friend rejection personally. You shouldn't take any of that personally. Because if you do, uh, your mental health your emotional intelligence will falter. This is why it's key to embrace stoicism so that your emotional mind doesn't get out of hand. Um, most people won't live up to your expectations. When you're looking for a loyal friend, when you're looking for a loyal mate, just getting the right cooperation is astounding. Just getting them to do something for you, 
that could possibly benefit them as well. That's a whole nother thing. This one and the next one kind of goes hand in hand. So I'm going to go into that talking point as well. Most people won't live up to your expectations. It's pretty much the same as um, good help is hard to find. People that take pride in what they do is hard to find today. Why? Because they weren't raised to take pride in their name, to take pride in their work. Loyalty is a lost art. Loyalty. If you can find five good loyal friends, some loyal family members, you, you've done a lot. Because we just don't raise loyal people anymore. Everything's a transactional relationship. If I don't get the transaction, there is no relationship. It's even uh, coming over into love life. Which is why some of you guys' relationships aren't working. It's because they're transactional. Both the man and the women think it's transactional. Nobody's doing pleasing the other just for the sake of pleasing the other one because they get pleasure from seeing their partner with a smile on their face. They're doing it because they expect something in return. So when you're building something new, don't expect for a, you know, a shit ton of people just to jump out of the wazoo. expectations and plus when it's weird right when you have expectations of something and they don't get met that's what causes another disappointment and plus you can't make the world or a person into what you want them to be you have to accept them for what they are so when you act, put expectations on somebody, most times those, expect, those expectations are unrealistic unless you have rules in place to make them follow them. So, the next one, the next harsh truth you must accept as a man. Nobody cares about your problem. So get used to carrying that burden by yourself. Get used to bottling up to a degree, not all the way, because you need to have an outlet, even if you gotta find a therapist or a friend to vent your problems to. But even then, you're not gonna be able to put everything on them. There's a portion of stuff you're gonna have to keep tucked away inside. Everyone has their own problems, so they don't want to hear your problems. And plus, complaining is a turnoff. It's it's like going up to a woman and displaying desperateness. It turns them off. It turns people off when you're complaining, when you're constant negative. So you kind of have no choice, really, but to bottle up your emotions to a degree. last one and this one is probably one you all know very well if you've watched this channel long enough women won't understand your struggle it's pretty demoralizing if you ladies are watching this and you got at this point to the video it is extremely demoralizing for a man to be going through a struggle and for you to say these, these two words or these two sentences, you're not trying hard enough or you're just making excuses. To hear those two sentences come out of a woman's mouth when a man is struggling and trying to find his way, that is extremely demoralizing. And to be truthfully honest, if you're a woman that says that stuff when your man gets to struggling, I promise you, he's either going to cheat on you 
or that relationship's going to end because you're not in full support. But see, women like that are insensitive to the male experience. <clears throat> see, a, a, a quality woman will realize, you know, I'm never going to know what it's like to be a man, but at least I can em emphasize or uh, empathize, not emphasize, empathize with him, hear him out, try to help if I can, but just really just support. And that's really what all we need as men from women when we're struggling is just support. Just say, keep going. Just say, you got it. You'll figure it out. You'll be fine. Sentences like that make a man go overtime to figure it out. That actually gives him more motivation to get out of the situation because he's trying to take care of you and he knows his struggle is affecting you, but just you saying and having that positive mindset will make him go even harder. Because now, he, now in his mind, it's like, I gotta figure it out. But even then, if you complain and struggle too much, even that woman will leave. Women will never really fully understand your struggles, which is another reason why you have to keep and bottle up your emotions to a degree. Don't bottle everything up, but you're gonna have to bottle up at least a good 30 to 40% of the information to shield her mental health, to keep her thinking in the right directions, to stop her from worrying. So, these are the harsh truths that every man must accept and deal with on a daily basis in your lives. The quicker you accept it, the better your life will be. On you guys' way out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, if you like the video, hit the notification button. I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.